Are you stuck choosing between Playwright and Selenium for your test automation? What if I told you, you don't have to choose? What if I told you, you can generate Playwright tests just as easily as Selenium without rewriting a single line of code? What if you could switch between both frameworks seamlessly with just a click? If that sounds awesome, then stick around because in this video, I'm gonna show you how Alchemy has a wicked cool way of letting you generate both Playwright and Selenium tests effortlessly. Sound awesome? I think so. Let's dive in and let's check it out. So if you're one of the many automation engineers and organizations trying to decide if Playwright or Selenium is the better option, then you have to check out the solution that I'm gonna go over because it's gonna change your automation life. So in a previous Tech Talk video, I demonstrated how Alchemy can create a comprehensive test and generate near-perfect Selenium code for execution anywhere. If you haven't seen it, I highly encourage you to check it out now by watching the video here. So after I dropped that video, a lot of testers told me, hey, this is awesome. I love how it helps me easily create Selenium, but can it help me with Playwright? Well, if that's you, you're in luck because the folks at Alchemy told me they just introduced a new capability that allows users to generate both Playwright just as efficiently as it generates Selenium. And now you can use the same simple drag and drop interface and recording techniques to generate Playwright code effortlessly. Even better, you don't have to decide on Playwright versus Selenium. How? Well, just create your test using Alchemy. And once you do, you can generate either Selenium or Playwright from it. You can even take your previously built Alchemy Selenium test suites and with the push of a button, generate Playwright code. Sounds cool, right? Well, let's check it out. Let's take our bike shop suite that we created during our last video. This suite was created to work with Selenium. Watch as we generate Playwright without changing a single line of code. All you need to do is add a new execution router that supports Playwright. Even with the Playwright execution router added, you could continue to generate Selenium code, but now you can generate Playwright as well. So to generate Playwright code, open the build queue, then select Playwright as the alternate endpoint and either generate your code or build your executable. It's that easy. If you wanna use Playwright as a default when creating a new test suite, you could change that via the suite settings screen. Now, new test suites will be generated using the Playwright engine. So let's try it. Let's go ahead and create a new suite using Playwright. As you can see, using Alchemy remains the same even though the Playwright engine is being used under the covers. This allows users to seamlessly switch between Playwright and Selenium without any new education or training. This is huge, especially if you're on a big team of testers. The latest version of Alchemy really removes the stress of deciding which open sourcing testing framework you should use. It relieves the test developer of the need to do sophisticated programming to recognize objects, handle weights, the right safety, and much more, thus blurring the difference in the underlying framework. Anybody can do this. So there you have it. Alchemy removes the stress of picking the right framework and lets you generate Playwright or Selenium tests on demand. No extra coding, no extra headaches. But that's just the beginning. Alchemy has a ton of other powerful capabilities we haven't even touched on yet. Want to learn more? Well, click the link down below to explore the latest features and future updates, as well as trying this Playwright feature for yourself. And of course, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more automation insights and drop a comment down below. Are you team Playwright or Selenium? Let me know. Let's discuss. As always, Tess Arthur and keep the good. Cheers.